2020 has been a year filled with tragedies. We started the year off with the threat of World War III, then we lost numerous legends. Now we are plagued by a deadly virus and murder hornets. What's the next level of Jumanji? Black holes entering our solar system? Ugh, <sighs> let's hope not. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. The voice you are currently listening to belongs to me, Lindsay Ivan. Your voice of reason for today's video, which is, what if a black hole entered our solar system in 2020? But before I begin, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions. With that being said, let's dive on into the video. To understand the effects that a black hole could have on our solar system, we first have to understand what a black hole is. Is. Black holes are very interesting and fascinating. The term black hole was coined in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. The first black hole ever discovered was spotted in 1971. A black hole is a point in space where gravity is so strong that nothing around it can escape not even light. NASA states the gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. So far, astronomers have identified three types of black holes, stellar black holes, intermediate black holes, and supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes can be up to 20 times more than the mass of the sun. They occur when a large star burns through its fuel and collapses into itself. Then we have intermediate black holes. This is a mid-sized black hole. These are formed when stars in a cluster collide in a chain type reaction. And lastly, we have supermassive black holes. These may be the result of hundreds or thousands of tiny black holes that have merged together. Their masses are more than one million suns combined. Now, there are said to be supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. It is said that they don't pose a threat to us at this point in our lives. They only will when our galaxy collides with another galaxy, but that isn't said to happen for another few billion years. But let's assume it did somehow happen and a black hole is now in our solar system. What would happen? Well, once black holes spawn, they gather mass from the dust and gas around them. This allows them to grow in size, aka Earth and our solar system would fall into this black hole and we would be engulfed in it. This would happen in a process scientists refer to as spaghettification. Let me explain. Basically, spaghettification is a theory that suggests that the gravity in the black hole would stretch you out like spaghetti. I mean, I love spaghetti, but I don't want to be turned into a human noodle, thank you. Let me explain this process. Let's say you were headed feet first into the black hole. Your feet are physically closer to the black hole, so they would feel a stronger gravitational pull than your head would. So your feet are being pulled in further, which is stretching your body. Now, your arms. Because they aren't at the center of your body, it would cause your body to be pulled inwards, making you appear very thin. So basically, if we did get sucked into a black hole, we would all be compressed and elongated looking like human noodles. But that's not all. This spaghettification process would not only happen to us humans and animals, but also the whole Earth. The edge of the Earth closest to the black hole would be pulled in and would be stretched and flattened. Our whole world would basically be pulled apart. Here is another theory as to what could happen. Maybe we wouldn't be wiped out by turning into spaghetti, but maybe we would be killed first by the radiation. A study done on black holes by NASA discovered that when a supermassive black hole consumes gas from a star, it results in an outburst. Basically, it's when hot gas forms and then disappears. Well, it's said that this gas can be anywhere from 1 million degrees Fahrenheit to about 2.5 million degrees Fahrenheit during these outbursts. On top of that, black holes are freezing cold on the inside, but incredibly hot on the outside. So it's thought that before we could even be spaghettified, we would be fried by the radiation. Now, let's talk about supermassive black holes for a second. This black hole is so big that it could wreak havoc on our solar system from a distance of a few light years away. First off, it said that it has stars, planets, asteroids, and comets orbiting around them, along with a bunch of space debris it picked up on its route to us. Well, all this stuff would then come crashing into our solar system. We would probably be wiped out by some rogue planet smashing into us. This theory was noted by Inch World of Science. Okay. 
So we have no chance at survival with supermassive black holes. But what about stellar black holes? Maybe they'll go easy on us. Well, it's theorized that if this black hole came into our solar system, then it would completely mess with the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is basically a shell of icy objects that's said to exist in the outer parts of our solar system. Well, it's said that the black hole could possibly mess with the Oort cloud's gravitation. This could cause these giant icy comet-like asteroids to come flying towards our planets. AKA, we would be killed by tons of these objects hurtling towards the Earth. But that's not all. If a black hole entered our solar system, it could pull the gas from Jupiter until it was consumed entirely. Then this could mess with our orbit. Maybe it would pull us into an area in space that's inhabitable. Then we would die from this drastic change. As the black hole nears Earth, it could also cause the Earth's crust to crack. This would cause deadly natural disasters like huge earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Not only that, but the ocean tides would also wipe us out. Meaning that by the time Earth actually got into the black hole, it would be nothing. It would be completely wiped out of all humans. It would just be surface paved with magma. Another theory is that if we did encounter a black hole and it got close to the sun, it would start to consume the sun's gas. This would pull Earth's center of gravity towards it, tearing it to shreds. Now, we are thinking about the worst case scenario here. Let's see what NASA has to say. When asked if a black hole could destroy Earth, NASA responded with this. They claim that even if a black hole the same mass as the sun were to take the place of the sun, Earth would still not fall in. The black hole would have the same gravity as the sun, and so the Earth would continue to orbit around the black hole as it would the sun. Except NASA, the sun is our main heat and light source. You failed to mention that. Sure, Earth would still be alive, but would we still be able to survive? The core of the sun is approximately 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, supermassive black holes emit gas that is around one to two million degrees Fahrenheit. That's millions of less heat getting emitted towards Earth. That difference in heat could make or break us. Who knows if we could survive on an Earth that is drastically colder. On top of that, we wouldn't get the same amount of light to grow crops. Overall, it seems very, very unlikely we would be able to survive living close to a black hole. But good news. NASA states that the sun will never turn into a black hole. They say that the sun is not a big enough star to make a black hole. So we're safe for now. Lastly, a theory proposed by Dr. Samir Mathur from Ohio State University says that black holes could create holograms out of Earth. In his theory, he states that a black hole wouldn't destroy everything it touches. In fact, he suggests that we wouldn't even notice if Earth got swallowed by one. He goes on to say that, and I quote, material touching a black hole instead becomes an imperfect copy of itself, continuing to exist as before. So basically, we would be photocopied and we would go on with our lives, not knowing that we're living in a black hole. Either way, let's hope that a black hole never enters our universe. That would just be the ultimate end to 2020, quite literally. Before I end today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick comment shout out for my last video, Top 10 Spiders Scarier Than The Murder Hornets. OG Butter commented, stop giving 2020 ideas. I'm sorry, okay? Seriously, what's next to come? Let's hope nothing. It feels like we're in a video game and we just keep completing these levels and moving on to the next stage. The only question is, who or what is the final boss? Noah Dennis commented, what if SpongeBob was real? Oh man, I've seen pictures of what the cast of Spongebob would look like if they were humans, and it's terrifying. That Lenny guy commented, wow, yes, exactly, wow, that's all I have to say, wow, wow, Owen Wilson. And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more thought-provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious, YouTube.